Assalamu alaikum. Hi, I'm Bowie. In this video, I will share with you the exam readiness, do not panic situation and how to overcome it. What happened if you lost power or internet connection during the exam? If you are experiencing load shedding or power cuts or drop in your internet connection or your computer froze for any reason that you are unable to access the exam link, the following will happen. Your exam timer will temporarily pause. Any answer you've submitted will be saved. As soon as you are able to reconnect, immediately log in into your account again on the same link with the same login details. Continue from where you left off. If your computer freezes, best to restart your computer. If your Google Chrome freezes, best to quit Google Chrome and restart. You'll be able to return to the exam and your timer will continue from where your last left off. So let's say if you're offline for 10 minutes, you'll get those 10 minutes back. What happened if you accidentally click the submit exam button and submit it? If you just started the exam, don't panic. Instead, inform the staff. However, if it's after one hour of the exam, you're considered to have submitted and completed. What happened if I cannot log in into the system? If you cannot log in into the system, first, you need to check your exam URL. Copy the exam URL correctly from the announcement or email. Paste it into the Chrome browser to sign in for the exam. Please note, while copying the URL, please make sure that space aren't included. Otherwise, the URL won't load. Please check your username and password. When logging into the exam, manually re-enter your login ID and password to avoid any critical mistake. Please clear your browser cache. Clear the cache and cookies on your browser to remove any stored data causing the login issues. Contact support. If the issue still persists, reach out the technical support team for further assistance. What happened if I cannot log in using UEM single sign on and have yet to receive my username and password for the exam? In case you haven't received your username and password for the exam, then you have to first contact the administrators. If you haven't yet received your username and password for the exam, Immediately reach out any administrator exams at your college or organization. Second, seek for assistance. Connect with the relevant administrative staff to request the necessary login details for the exam. And the last is ensure timely resolution. Take proactive steps to communicate the issue to allow a timely resolution and for you to partake the exam as scheduled. Common technical issue that I should avoid before taking the online exam? To ensure a smooth online exam experience, avoid any last-minute technical issues. This include ensuring that your computer or device meet the technical requirements specified for the exam. Verifying that you have stable internet connection and have any necessary hardware and software installed in advance of the exam. Thank you. See you. Bye.